Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see a common issue faced by a Windows 11 user after 2.2H2 version upgrade. Uh, there is a performance regression in 2.2H2 when copying large files from a remote computer down to a Windows 11 computer. A large file might see as much as a 40% less throughput over the SMB when copying down. Uh, but uh, if you uh, if you are copying that same file to a non 2 h 2 machine, uh, it, you won't see that issue at all. So this is not exclusively related to SMB protocol and Windows 11 users may also notice some slow speed when they are copying their local files. Uh, Microsoft has recommended that affected customers should run copy operation using the RoboCopy or the XCopy. Okay, so let's get started on how to copy files and folders using robocopy command. Let me open my command prompt. I'll be typing robocopy. Okay. So followed by source path. So let's take the source as PS5 folder. All the data from this PS5 folder will be copied to the destination folder. I'll be copying the path of the source and pasting it here. Let's take the destination folder as RoboCopy. If you see there's nothing in this folder, I'll be copying the path of this destination folder and pasting it here. After this, you can use multiple parameters uh, such as slash MOV, slash MOVE, slash MIR, slash S, slash E, slash J, and many more. I will be giving the information of what all parameters you could use uh, or you could possibly use. Uh, I'll be using slash E. Slash E is, this basically includes the empty directories as well. So let's say I have an empty file in the source, it will still copy that empty file into the destination. Uh, followed by slash D copy that slash d copy is basically it specifies this what to copy in the directory okay so i will be giving r10 slash w3 so i will be giving this command in the description you could just copy and change the path and get the things done uh, i hit enter if you see in the source if we saw there was a video folder there was a testing dot text file so if you see here the details of each and every file that has been transferred to the destination folder so this is what it is to use the robocopy uh, let's say if i would have not given any parameter and i would have just used the robocopy source and destination it would have not copied the folder it would have copied only the testing.txt file you could try it on your own uh, that's it for this video